welcome to the 31 ice cream flavors problem. I will show you how many different three scoop cones can you make out of 31 flavors. Let me tell you some ground rules. So, the ice cream shop sells 31 different flavors of ice cream, but we want to buy all possible three scoop cones. How many three scoop cones can we make? So, ground rules of the problem. We can buy three scoops of the same flavor, for example, strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. We can buy two scoops of the fla same flavor in one scoop different vanilla, vanilla, chocolate. We can buy three scoops of all different flavors, chocolate, strawberry, and raspberry. The order of the flavors of the cone does not matter. Vanilla, vanilla, chocolate is the same as chocolate, vanilla, vanilla, but not the same as chocolate or vanilla chocolate. So before we start, I have an important rule to say. For any three objects, for example, a water bottle, a telephone, and a pencil, you always make six possible combinations, but only one is unique in the order of the objects does not matter. For example, if the order does not matter, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry is the same as vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. So out of the six choices, only one is unique. I tried to solve the problem with just three flavors to make it easier. I broke the problem into three steps. The first step, I used the same flavors for all three scoops and I got three possible cones. In the second step, I used different flavor for each scoop. I can make six possible combinations and only one combination counts since the others are not unique. In the third step, I used two scoops of the same flavor and one scoop different flavor. I can make three choices for the first two scoops and only two choices for the last scoop. So we have six possible cones. Adding all three steps together, I have ten cones. I tried to solve the problem with four flavors to find a pattern. I broke the problem also into three steps. The first step, I used the same flavor for one cone got four possible cones. In the second step, I used different flavors for each scoop. I can make 24 possible combinations. This is because I can make four choices for the first scoop, three for the second, and two for the third. Four times three times two is 24. But only four combination counts since others are not unique. In the third step, I use two scoops of the same flavor and one scoop different flavor. I can make four choices for the first two scoops and only three choices for the last scoop. So we have 12 possible cones. Adding all three steps together, I have 20 cones. We have a rule to use for any numbers of flavors, no matter what. For n flavors, n being any number of flavors, we divide the problem into three steps. Step one, we can make n three scoop cones with a single flavor, no matter what. Step two, we can make n times n minus one times n minus two divided by six cones with three different flavors. Step three, we can make n times n minus one cones with two same flavors in one different flavor no matter what. The total number of possible scoops is the sum of the scoops from step one plus step two plus step three. Now that I found a pattern, I can use it for the 31 flavors ice cream. For 31 flavors, I divided the problem into three steps. Step one. We can make 31 three scoop clones with, with a single flavor. Step two, we can make 31 times 30 times 29 divided by six clones with three different flavors. Step three, we make 31 times 30 clones with two same flavors and one different flavor. For the last step, the total number of possible scoops 
is the sum of the scoops from step 1, step 2, and step 3, which equals to 31, plus 4,495, plus 930, which equals to a big bonus 5,456.